describe to you what a medical expert system is, especially related to health. What is a medical expert system? It is a computer program that simulates the judgment and behavior of a human expert. And basically how it works is a non-expert user will ask the system a query and this will then go to a user interface which goes to a search engine which goes to a knowledge base and then goes all the way back out through the user interface as advice to the user. And the knowledge base is basically gained from an expert and has been uploaded into the system. Expert systems or clinical decision support systems. And these have been in use since the 1970s. And basically it is used to support medical decisions and are specialized for in one area of medicine. As if for the eye, intestine, cancer. And basically they are only used to support medical decisions, not to make their own medical decisions because the doctor still has to be in charge for reliability reasons. Also, it is important to understand that expert systems are used with electronic medical record systems, and this allows for automated updates to be made to the patient's files so that it's very clear and smooth about what the patient is there for and what their patient history has been without all the paperwork that would be required to go through if it wasn't all an electronic medical record system. And this way the system can send out warnings on a patient and this would be based on the patient's past treatment, medical history, and more. And so this is basically all to try to keep the patient as safe as you can possibly keep them. Why should medical expert systems be used? And this is because they have been proven to increase the quality of care delivered by medical personnel because the expert system is able to see things that would maybe take a doctor a little bit longer to tell and they're also it's easy for them to view the patient's past medical history record and compare it to their current systems it's a lot more easier for the computer system to do that than it is for the doctor who would be more relying on what the patient tells them than what their past records indicate an example of a medical expert system is Mycin, and it was developed at Stanford University in the 1970s, and it is basically the first such device that was implemented into the medical field as a advisor to the doctor. How Mycin was tested for its accuracy for before it was put into the medical field is that it was given a test where it had 10 meningitis patients were chosen at random and their information was sent to 8 human physicians and also to mycin. And all of them came up with recommendations as to the treatment of these patients. And these recommendations, along with what the patients actually received as treatment, were sent to 8 other unidentified specialists. And basically, Mycin won the test. Mycin received the highest score as far as accuracy and effectiveness of the diagnosis. So the little test proved that the expert system could actually have a better diagnosis than the physicians could at times. And here are some problems with Mycin and other medical expert systems. And they are, if the system gives an incorrect diagnosis, who is to be blamed or sued? Because in reality, it wasn't necessarily the doctor's fault if the computer made the decision, but at the same time, would it be the designers of the system who should be sued if the system were to malfunction or give an incorrect diagnosis? This is all area that is very gray and not certain. And also, physicians may rely too heavily on the system instead of consulting other expert, other experts are just basically using their own gut feeling about what would be best for their patient. They rely too heavily on technology to do what they should be. Consequences of using an expert system, and this is error in the system could have fatal consequences. Data integrity is very critical because if wrong data is entered, then the wrong results would be given and this could lead to the death of the patient. 
It is also hard for the system to understand the risks involved in a decision. So it just gives its first gut decision instead of deb debating like what would be best for the patient necessarily. Things to remember when using an expert system. The user needs to be very clear, easy to understand, and error free in its information. Here's my bibliography. I use two different websites and the Informational Technology in a Global Society for the IB Diploma by Stuart Gray Diploma Textbook. Thank <laughs> you.